This video will cover the steps to utilize the Spectrum Analyzer feature on the following Tsunami and Orinoco products. Uh, the Tsunami Quick Bridge 10100 and uh, 10100L, which is the long range. Uh, we have the Tsunami XP uh, 10100 series, the MP, uh, both point to point 10100 and uh, 10100L, the long range. Uh, the Orinoco QuickBridge 9100 and the Orinoco AP9100R products. All right, a quick note. The Spectrum Analyzer helps to analyze a spectrum for interference uh, and select a relatively low interference channel. This tool is limited in accuracy or capability. It is not a direct substitution for professional deployment with a dedicated Spectrum Analyzer. Another brief note, as the remote spectrum analyzer is being utilized, uh, the warp RF link will be briefly disconnected. Uh, the warp RF link will reconnect after the spectrum analyzer scan has concluded. So if you're running the spectrum analyzer on the, um, on the quick bridge uh, B side or on the XB uh, SU radio, um, the link is going to drop after it's finished. It's going to go ahead and reconnect. Uh, this is only going to be on the 5 gigahertz side, and the 2.4 gigahertz side is going to be unaffected. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, cover the spectrum analyzer feature on the uh, the Tsunami uh, 10100 series, okay, which is uh, the Quick Bridge, uh, the Multipoint, and then the XP. And um, then we have the Orinoco uh, QB uh, 9100 series, okay, and then we have the Orinoco 9100R, which is the ruggedized radio, okay. Um, so on the Quick Bridges and on the MP radios, uh, you have, um, of course, you have two sides. You have side A, okay, you have endpoint A and endpoint B, okay, uh, and, and it's kind of split that way because the endpoint B side or the, um, the endpoint B on the QB9100 XP, okay, and of course on 9100R, uh, you're, you're actually going to have a, a different set, uh, you're actually going to have 5 gigahertz and 2.4 gigahertz, okay, uh, if you have a, uh, a just an MP radio, you're only going to have, of course, um, just one, uh, uh, one set, uh, you're only going to have for the 5 gigahertz, which is the warp side, okay, so um, I, I don't want to confuse, mm -hmm. but uh, so let's go ahead, we're looking at the quick bridge A side, Okay, so we come down here, we click on Spectrum Analyzer, okay? Uh, as you can see, uh, we only have, uh, this is the 5 gigahertz side, right? So what we're looking at is the scan all chan time, uh, scan time. So this is how long uh, it's going to uh, scan um, in milliseconds per channel. Uh, we have the low frequency filter and the high, so if you want to just look at a specific um, frequency range, just go ahead and put in the low and the high, it's only going to uh, scan. That particular range here, we have pretty much the whole 5 gigahertz range, okay? Um, once you hit start, it's going to go out, and it's going to give you something like this, okay? We're just basically looking at is, uh, here is our uh, uh, SNR value, okay? And then here's the channel, all right? Um, if you scroll down, okay, I should give you the scan, uh, the statistics. So uh, here it just kind of tells you what it sees, but over here it actually breaks it down, uh, what channel bandwidth, uh, the channel that it's on, uh, the frequency, uh, picking up the MAC address uh, because it's in Beacon, see if it's uh, anything specific um, that you kind of see here. If it's like it's an access point, most of these are going to be access points. Uh, so it's because it is 5 gigahertz, it's going to pick that up. Okay, here's the modes in this particular case. It's all access points. It picks up stations, encryption, security type, max SNR, and then the packet count that it's captured. Okay, uh, so uh, once again, so this is going to be on the uh, uh, endpoint, uh, on the quick bridge endpoint A, and on the multi point radios, and of course on the, um, on the MP. Okay, so let's go ahead and take a look at the other side of the QuickBridge link. Okay, as a reminder, 
Uh, right now we're going to look at the quick bridge, uh, the B side of uh, uh, the 9100 series, uh, the Orinoco, or the uh, the Tsunami Quick Bridge 10100 series. Okay, and also the Tsunami XB, which is the subscriber side. Okay, and uh, we throw in the Orinoco AP uh, 9100 as well uh, because it's fairly similar. So what we have here is when you click on the Spectrum Analyzer, you can see now that we have 5 gigahertz and 2.4. Okay, uh, everything else is the same. Okay, so you have the 5 gigahertz is going to give us more information. Okay, um, once again, in this particular case, it's more because we did a scan from the whole frequency. Okay, so that's why it's condensed like this. Okay, uh, same information as we covered. Okay, and once we go to the 2.4 side, the access point side, you can see it's uh, pretty much my side. It's uh, uh, everything's taken. Okay, channels 1 through 11, and it's going to show the exact same information. As noted in the 5 gigahertz side, um, if you have any questions regarding the Spectrum Analyzer, please feel free to contact technical support, and we'll be more than happy to assist you. About Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim.